What is up guys? Uh, man, it is Tuesday morning. Woke up, was bored, and was like, you know what? I'm gonna go outside, get my lines wet. So, packed one rod, got a couple gear in the trunk right here. And the water looks very calm right now. I'm here at Harbor Island, San Diego. I am going to throw some top water, maybe some jerk bay drop shot. We'll see what we get. I'm really trying to get anything as always. You know, I'm not targeting anything today. It's just uh, whatever bites. I only got a couple hours to put in. And hopefully I get something for you guys. Slap you guys on my chest. Take you guys with me. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this day got something in store for us. Then again, it is San Diego. And it is the Bay. You never know what you're going to get. Probably dink spotties all day. Macro, Bonito. Who knows? About to find out though. So, let's do this. Cast it as always, same, same routine. And then slow retrieve and feel for the bite. <clears throat> I'm gonna move down a little bit more, try to find more structures. There's a lot of sand in this area, and I don't want to keep my hopes up and praying that a halibut bites. I'm fishing on. I'm on a limited time right now. To get this day started, or well, get this day going, started, it already has started. Put my rod glove back on. Don't wanna damage the tips or anything, the guides. So I was, I'm gonna start doing that, putting the gloves right back on before I drive off. Yeah, I'm gonna head down a little bit more. You guys probably heard me say that already. But the spot is producing, it's biting, but there's a lot of small ones. So I'm gonna try to go find some more structures. I'm gonna probably head westbound on Harbor Island, see what's popping on that end, and hopefully get something else. The day is lovely out here. The weather is perfect. The water is flat, but it's that uh, that cold front that is coming in. And uh, not a lot of fish is biting right now. Well, not a lot of big ones are biting or as active as they were before, but I'm sure people are getting, you know, good bites here and there. They're catching a lot of fish, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I got to switch up my bait. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm at the wrong place at the wrong time, but I see some guys uh, down for me. They're hooking up left to right. So, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to try to switch it up, see, see what's popping, see uh, what's going to happen. I'm probably going to go down here a little bit more, check what it is, uh, if there's any parking. If there's, a, if there's some parking, then I'm going to go. But I'm gonna try try to do something else. Try try rig up something else after I lose all my worms. I'm gonna try Texas rig out here, see how that's gonna produce. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Christmas is coming. Uh, put the Christ my Christmas list below. I'm just kidding. And everyone always wonder why do I always fish Harbor Island? Why? Well, this is pretty much my roots right here. This is pretty much where I started actually getting in depth into. Uh, in depth yeah that too uh very deep into fishing a uh, harbor island this is where i you know popped that cherry because before it was just piers you know coronado pier ob pier but that was just baiting and waiting but uh, harbor island was where where it actually you know opened up the doors for me to being broke and spending a lot of money and got me deeply into fishing so harbor island is my spot to go to regardless of day or night, any day of the week, any day of the year. It, because it's one, there's only 10 minutes from my house. Two, there's always fish here. You know, there's, there's gonna be slow days and, and good days, just like any other day. And three, uh, it's the whole bay. It's, you pretty much got the whole front to yourself. The whole, you got South Bay, like all the way to my left. You can see Coronado from here, it's a beautiful sight. If you guys ever come to San Diego, be sure to hit up Harbor Island. Give it a shot, you know, an hour or two hours. Enjoy the view. If you ain't gonna catch that, then catch the view. <clears throat> We're right across from the Navy base. So yeah, Harbor Island is my home spot. It's it's my turf, not my turf, but it's like, you know, my stomping grounds, where I began. A lot of people wonder that. And I will always come here as much as I can, as many times as I can, and any time I freaking want. About to do 15 videos straight Harbor Island, I will.
you know, because you never know what you're gonna catch. That's the that's the honest truth. But Harbor Island is my spot. If I if I if I left town for a couple years, come back, Harbor Island would be my first stop, guaranteed first stop all the time. But let's get this day going. See what I mean? Look at that view behind me. That's San Diego downtown skyline right there. But, yep, just left you guys back on my chest. Just wanted to show you guys that. You get that view, you get the beautiful weather, you get two, one and a half, two and a half seasons here in San Diego. But you get to see downtown, you get to see the Navy base, you get to see everything. The Coronado Bridge is like right over there. You get people walking around. This is a tourist attraction. Airport's right on the other side. I wish we could fish closer so I can get some sick B-rolls of the airplanes taking off. You can always hear them in the background. You always hear the helicopters taking off, Navy base, you can see Navy SEAL, everything training out here. It's freaking awesome. But back on the chest, you guys go. Fixing a bird's nest. Oh. Happens to all of us, guys. Here you go. Little bass. Barely hooked them. Got me. See that? Those spikes ain't no joke. The bigger they get, the sharper it is. And the higher chance of you getting stuck by one. Took the worm. That was my last worm. Right into the grass. Stupid fish. That's a good one. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely legal right here. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness, his teeth fit sharp. Here you go guys. <laughs> There we go. Woo. There we go, right here. First Lego of the day. Look at that. Ah. Got him on the uh, Fat Albert, Fat Albert Grub, right here, the Zoom Fat Albert. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Whew. 
Another legal for the bucks. <laughs> and that <laughs> wetlands oh, slippery. That right there is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, real good. Definitely worth it. All right, quick recap of what went down today. So I came out for, let's say, two hours. It's about, yeah, two hours. I got here at nine. It is 11, 10. Got out here two hours, you know, scoped out the spot. You know, I wanted to get out before I got to do a lot of stuff today. Got here, you know, I managed a couple here and there. It was a rough day, you know. Uh, top water had a couple blow ups, truck bait, nothing. And threw in the worm, that's when the bite started picking up a little bit, but I only managed two, two on the worm today. So let's see, two missed bites, ran out of worms. I decided to slap on the Fat Albert. The Fat Albert by Zoom, three inch, black and red with a quarter ounce dart head. I think it's a two out, three out hook. The reel I have here is the Shimano Cronark G, the newest Cronark made for salt water. It's my first time or second time fishing mono the past week because I ran out of braid to uh, spool. So I spooled it up with, I believe it's copolymer or mono, I don't know, they feel the same to me. But that stretch in there is pretty scary. I mean, I missed a lot of bites due to that stretch, but that this 12 pound line right here, P line, managed that uh, nice, nice, decent legal I caught. So the way I was working the bait was just casting out there, let it sink to the bottom, do like a 10 to 15, 20 second count, depending on the current. Just slowly retrieving, pop, pop. That, leg, that legal bit about 15 yards, not even like 10 yards out from where I was standing. Took it in and this uh, 12 pound, 12 pound cold, cold polymer or mono P line or whatever held up great. So I have it paired with a Phoenix Recon Elite. It is a 7.4 medium heavy. So this is uh, one of my favorite setups to use out here in the bay. It means it's held up with offshore, well kind of offshore, inshore with big bonitos and whatnot. This uh, it's a good reel. Shimano did did good with this one. You know, it replaced the CI4. But other than that, that is the setup I was using today. That was a breakdown, and that should be it. I mean, not bad for a two-hour session. I mean, with that legal kicker, good. So hopefully this winter, there's more more videos to come for you guys. And hopefully surf fishing. It just, it's so hard to find the time to go surf fishing for me. I mean, you guys see my windows, like, fishing from one hour to three hours. And on top of that, I got my kids and everything. So I'll try my best, you know. I'll try my best to get it out there for you guys. But other than that, thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And, you know, you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comment section below. And links and gear i use lures i use line i use everything i use the underwear i wore everything linked below so till next time guys peace